Well, I'll tell you what, we almost didn't make it back on air because Mike was having a moment over here with his I new know. best friend. Yeah, these are uh, well, these are everybody's best friend, right? But for some people, they're more than that. They're uh, people's arms and ears and hands. And we've got Lou Finnegan and Christy Nimi from Helping Paws here to show us exactly how these dogs can help. And these are beautiful animals. First of all, how old are they? Belle and I are a demonstration team. She's actually eight. She was working for a while, and then she was retired. And now we're a demonstration team for Helping Paws. She looks good in retirement, I have to say. <laughs> yes, she does. And Christy? Uh, Carmen is three. Uh, she is also a demonstration dog. Uh, she had a medical issue that we decided not to pass on to someone. So she and I just do the demos. Well, so now, um, uh, do these dogs do the same thing? Are they are they cross trained? Can they do anything, or do they have specific things they can do? They have they. The dogs are trained with general cues with about 75 to 90 cues by the time they graduate. And they're trained to help people with mobility and motility issues, uh, getting up from a chair, for example, if they're still ambulatory. Uh, they also help with balance for those that aren't in wheelchairs yet. Um, in addition, they retrieve things from the ground, wherever they might need to. They can hand a credit card to a, oh, wow. a sales clerk. Uh, so wow. do, do you tell them what to do, or do they tell you what they can do? They are dog directed. I mean, excuse me, human directed. Okay. Service dogs are, are trained to be human directed, so they're supposed to be in a neutral position while they're not being asked to do something. Until you call on them, and then when you call on them, they can do the Correct. things that you were talking about. Can we see some of that? That's, some of the, that's incredible, some of the things that they can do. Yeah, we have some, it looks like some, some kind of common tasks down here. Mm -hmm. Can you explain what is this, uh, yeah, this what box is this? What do we um, have going This on? is a wonderful box that my Uncle Marlon made me for purposely doing demonstrations. It's kind of hard out here to not have light switches and sure. things like that. So uh, one thing the dogs do is they will hit a handicap access switch to open the door for someone in a wheelchair. Okay, go ahead. The command for that is switch. Come, come, switch. Switch. Come, dragon, switch. That's yeah. it. Good girl. Oh. So because it kind of moves around, she didn't hit it as hard as she usually would. Sure. But they will actually rise up and hit whatever size switch where, wherever it is. Well, you can um, imagine how helpful and how important this would be to to someone in their in their life. Definitely. So wow. these dogs these dogs are are with these these folks constantly, right? I mean, they're constant they companions, sleep alongside the bed, things like that. Typically, yes. Yeah. Twenty-four and, hours a day. And what can people who think, well, this is cool, I'd like to get involved? What can they do? Are there opportunities for for those of us that are fully mobile to to help you guys out? Absolutely. All of our dogs are trained by volunteers, which allows us to provide these dogs nearly free of charge to our graduates. There's a $250 registration fee for them, but other than that, the dogs are, they're worth them about $20,000 by the time they graduate. Wow. Their skills are amazing. They help their graduates with just simple things like getting dressed and getting undressed. And where mm -hmm. can we find you guys today? Wow. wow. Good job. Yeah, where can we find you guys on the fairgrounds? Uh, we're going to be down at the Pet Center. We're doing demonstrations for service dog skills 9, 11, 1, 3, and 5 okay. uh, in the major little outside demo area there. We'll also have a booth so people can come up and talk to us and ask questions, and we'll be here all day. Right if there. not for you, maybe for a loved one. Yes. Right? Yes. Well, okay. these are the real Pronto Pups. I think, I think that deserves <laughs> a round of applause.